Hello my dear student friends welcome to my tutorials today we are going to discuss about bills discounting bills discounting comes in fifth module you might be wondering why did i take bills discounting which comes in the fifth module actually i need to start a fourth module we have completed three modules in class we have to start fourth module but i took bills discounting which comes in fifth module i need to actually explain you about factoring factoring which comes in fourth module without explaining you about bills discounting i cannot explain you factoring which comes in fourth module that's a very reason why i have taken bills discounting so now let us discuss about bills discounting now let me explain you the concept the concept of uh, bills bills transaction let me first clearly explain you about the uh, uh, concept of bills then only you can understand clearly about uh, uh, the meaning definition uh, futures advantages and disadvantages try to listen everyone carefully now see there are two persons one is a another one is b a is seller a is seller and the b is the buyer b is the buyer and the seller sells products any products or services to buyer b on credit on credit here comes bills here comes bills a the seller draw the bill on buyer and buyer accepts the bill and a becomes the holder he becomes the holder of the bill are bill holder and this bill becomes bills receivable for a and that is the asset for a and when a requires money when he requires money he goes to bank he goes to bank by giving this bills to bank and the bank will render the money suppose if the bill is amounted 100 rupees the bank will discount some money for for example 10 rupees and lend the remaining amount 90 rupees to a this is called bills discounting i hope you understood now let us understand what is bills discounting this gives meaning and definition of bills discounting the meaning goes like this it's a very simple meaning you can easily understand the sentences are self explanatory the bills discounting is a discount fee which a bank takes from a seller to release funds before the credit period ends so before the credit period ends that's very important before the credit period ends see here a sells b on credit and b has bought from a b has bought from a on credit suppose one month one month he has bought and a requires money a requires money he cannot wait till one month so what he does he goes to bank he goes to bank and discount the money from bank this is called bills discounting after deducting the commission bank pays balance to the holder he is called a 
A is called A. So this is the meaning of bills discounting. Coming to the definition. The bills discounting is defined like this. An accepted draft or bill of exchange sold for early payment to a bank or credit institution at less than face value after the bank deducts fees, application uh, charges, the bank or credit institution then collects full value on the credit or bill of exchange when payment comes due. So the bank will take the bill and he will wait till one month. After one month, he collects the money from B. He collects the amount 100 rupees and makes 10 rupees profit. So this is the business of bank or any other financial institutions. So this gives the concept. This gives the concept. This is the concept of uh, bills discounting. I hope you understood. If you have any doubts, you can uh, call me or you can um, post comment in Google Classroom. This is the concept of bills discounting. Once you clearly understand the concept of bills discounting, then only you can understand uh, futures, advantages, disadvantages, everything. I hope you understand. Let us move further. Now, let us discuss about the origin of bills discounting. The origin of bills discounting in India. The bills discounting is started in India in the year 1952 by the initiation of RBI. RBI felt that there is no innovative source of financing working capital. So started bills discounting to finance working capital requirement for the companies and promoted this bills discounting in the year 1952 and the uh, RBI promote and develop a good bill market bill financing forms barely 5% of the total credit extended by the banks. Even though the bank has promoted bills discounting and encouraging bills discounting, it has not uh, consisted even 5% of the total credit generated by banks. That's the main reason why the uh, RBI has taken the latest step to promote the bill market by launching the factoring service. Here comes factoring. Here comes factoring. Here comes factoring. So, since RBI started bills discounting in the year 1952 to finance the working capital requirement by the companies and bills discounting was not very much uh, uh, favorable, it has felt that uh, uh, to promote one more uh, uh, financing uh, vehicle to working capital. So, factoring has been promoted. And we will discuss about factoring later. Now, at brief, let us discuss invoicing discounting or bills discounting. Discounting the bill, discounting the bill is called financing. Financing. It is called financing means the company borrow from banks. In other words, purchase of bills, purchase of bills, banks in this case will not discount the bill. It purchase, it purchase the bill will not discount. It will purchase the bill. Who will purchase the bill? Bank will purchase the bill. This is called factoring. This is called factoring. And we will discuss in detail about factoring in the next video. Right now, try to understand this. That's all. This is all about origin of bills discounting. Now, let us quickly understand features of bills discounting. Features of bills discounting. There are three important features of bills discounting. One is discount charge. Second one is maturity. Third one is ready finance. So what is discount charge? Discount charge 
is one which includes the interest fee interest fee or the commission which is charged by bank or the administrative expenses or the maintenance expenses collected by bank to finance the bill to a company just imagine i am going to receive 100 rupees from you from a for example from a when after one month after one month but i don't have patience i am in need of 100 rupees i am in need of 100 rupees i require 100 rupees now so without a delay i approach bank as i explained in the first slide here as i explained in the first slide <coughs> so i am receiving amount well before one month some amount will be deducted as a charge of commission or interest that is called discount that's called discount discount is the margin between advance granted by the bank and face value of the bill face value is 100 rupees and the discount is or the margin is 10 rupees so this is called discount i hope you understand if you have any doubt you can call me or put a comment in classroom next is maturity next is maturity maturity date of a bill is called a maturity and that is defined as the date on which payment will fall due normally the maturity periods are ranging from 30 60 90 days or 120 days most prominently the bills are discounted for uh, not, not discounted uh, matured for 90 days 90 days is most common 90 days is most common that is maturity bills expiring date next ready finance ready finance banks discount and purchase the bills of their customers so that the customers get immediate finance from the bank any customer who approaches the bank will immediately get the payment if instead of bills discounting if you want loan if you apply for the loan for example uh, cash credit is one of the important source of uh, working capital and you approach a bank to opt cash credit it takes lengthy process and you have to wait months together to receive cash credit but in case of bills discounting within 72 hours hours within 72 hours you will get money from the bank the bank will credit the money in your account so bills discounting is very fast these are the futures of bills discounting now let us go to the advantages and disadvantages of bills discounting this is the last topic in today's video now let us uh, briefly discuss all these advantages and disadvantages of bills discounting the first advantage is no need to incur debt of course uh, bills discounting is a means of uh, borrowing from the bank but uh, in general it is not actually called borrowing from the bank if you borrow you have to repay the amount to bank but in case of bills discounting once the customer get money from the bank he need not repay again the bank will collect from the customer so no need to incur debt no need to incur debt in this case he will not uh, uh, held up more liability this is no need to incur debt improve cash flow position improve cash flow position instead of blocking funds in terms of bills in terms of bills what i do i realize my bills by converting bills into cash so it increases the cash flow position in my company and that is obviously an advantage will you accept bills are current assets current assets by discounting this in terms of cash it becomes liquid it increases my cash position 
that is one of the very important advantage of bills discounting and the next one is third third advantage helps businesses to sell goods on credit here the seller confidently sells his goods on credit because of bills discounting of course for any business to grow the seller has to sell goods to customers on credit if not completely he has to compromise he has to sell some goods to customer on credit if he is totally inflexible and determine himself to sell all the goods on cash cash only then it's very difficult for him to sell goods he has to compromise he has to sell on credit some goods at least if not all some goods he has to sell on credit bills discounting allows him to sell goods on credit with confidence next access funds quickly as i said ready finance is one of the features of bills discounting bills discounting is very fast the banks will give credit the amount of bill in his account within 72 hours it is very speedy way of financing than compared to any other means of financing it's very fast then coming to the disadvantages of bills discounting reduces profit margin it reduces the profit margin how it reduces the profit margin just imagine as i explained in the beginning of the video there are two persons a and b a is the seller b is the buyer and he sells the goods to b on credit basis for example 100 rupees worth of goods he has sold for one month if you wait for one month he will receive 100 rupees from b he will receive 100 rupees is there any deduction no since he needs 100 rupees now he will go to bank will he give 100 rupees only to bank uh, to a i'm sorry the bank no he will discount he will discount for example 10 <coughs> so he will <coughs> he will receive 90 rupees it is a loss technically speaking it is a loss okay i think you understood this reduces the profit margin and one more disadvantage of bills discounting is all bills cannot be discounted all the bills cannot be discounted an entrepreneur can avail funds by discounting the commercial bills only so the commercial bills only can be discounted by the banks all the bills cannot be discounted further the bank will evaluate the bills or invoices based on a number of parameters before providing funds so that is one of the disadvantage next not available to new businesses if the business is uh, new in a infant stage the banks will not take any risk by accepting the bill and discounting the bill if already established well furnished business which is making profit and is in existence for so many years then only the banks will provide funds to such kind of entrepreneurs or businessmen the new entrepreneurs are small entrepreneurs small budding businesses cannot avail any funds that is one of the disadvantage of bills next last one is reduce available collateral most banks do not provide collateral free business loans to small business owners <coughs> the uh, bills discounting normally will not include any collateral first of all what do you mean by collateral collateral means any asset you have to pledge any asset you have to pledge to bank for example i asked you to give me 100 rupees 
then what is the guarantee that i am going to uh, repay 100 rupees to you you ask my watch uh, my watch i need to give my watch to you okay in the same way companies also have to uh, pledge its uh, assets say for example uh, it has some uh, stock it has some uh, insurance policies fixed deposits these will be pledged to the banks as collateral normally it happens with the small business entrepreneurs and budding business organizations since these are small business organizations the banks cannot blindly accept them so they ask such kind of collateral assets this is the disadvantage so these are the advantages and disadvantages of bills discount if you have any doubts you can post a comment in my google classroom this is all about today's topic that is bills discounting okay then subscribe to my youtube channel and follow my videos thank you bye bye